Hey, it's Rob from Big Green Egg here to talk about Egg Genius. It's the new interactive temperature controller for your Big Green Egg. Whether you want to just monitor the grid itself or the food for worry-free cooking, you can get it done with this. It's all powered by Flame Boss. All you gotta do is go online to the App Store or Google Play and download the Big Green Egg app and you can get it right there in the app. And I'm gonna show you everything that came in the box as well. You have the clips that go into the uh, medium, large, extra large, and 2X. And then you have the smaller one for the small, mini, and the mini max. So they go in there and it clamps right in, I'll show you. This also comes in, you can see that it goes like this, clamps right in, and it holds it in place. Pretty neat. Comes with the uh, meat probe and the alligator clip for the grid, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute, and the power supply. As you can see, you got the power supply, the pit probe, and the meat probe right here. So normally you would just put your clips in like that and you'll have your pit and your meat. But if you purchase the extra Y cables, they can go in there like that on each of them. And now you can have a pit, a meat, and two meat. So now you have a pit and three meat probes that you can do all at once. And the app also has that capability as well. So if I'm you, I'm heading to a local dealer and picking up the new egg keys. All right, I want to show you a couple of tips as well. Obviously the meat probe, whether you have one, two, or three, you put them in the meat here, and that goes in the meat. The alligator clip is to obviously take the grid temperature, and you can do that one of two ways. One is you clip it onto the grid here at grid level, which you want to do if you're using your convector, make sure it's not over the open flame at the edges where the convector doesn't meet. You want to put it over the top, away from the meat as well. You don't want it so close to the meat that it's get, catching the cold temperature off the meat. The second one is you can actually clip it to the probe itself for the temperature gauge in the back. The thought there is, is that the temperature here and the temperature inside the dome up in here can be anywhere from five to 10 degrees difference. So if you're used to running your temp off the temp gauge, this may be an option for you. What you always want to do is make sure that these wires, when they run outside the egg, and you close the dome, run out over the legs of the convector. That'll save you from burning up any wiring uh, for your system. 